The Mercedes-Benz Vision EQXX is unique because of this. It is fundamentally a driving example of cutting-edge engineering, despite its futuristic EV design. A futuristic concept automobile might easily look intriguing in the dramatic lighting of a corporate film clip or auto show display. The future of a company right now. However, very few designs ever make it past that point, and even fewer manage to drive on actual roads with other drivers, much less with tenacious journalists at the wheel. Following the EQX Eka's debut at the CES Technology Show earlier this year, Mercedes was quick to demonstrate the car's practicality on two lengthy trips across Europe. The longest of these trips saw the EQXX cover 747 miles on a single charge of its battery, which stores just under 100.0 kWh, while traveling from Stuttgart, Germany to Silverstone, England, where it hot-lapped the renowned race circuit. That accomplishment is noteworthy in and of itself for a car designed in less than 18 months, and it also portends well for a number of Mercedes EVs that will utilize the EQXX array of innovations in the near future. The EQXX appears suitably unearthly when parked on the asphalt at the company's testing grounds in Amendingen, Germany. Its windswept, teardrop-shaped frontal area, about the size of a low-slung compact sedan, contrasts with a robust side profile that spans a 110.2-inch wheelbase. Significant length is added by its oversized calm tail, particularly when the active rear diffuser protrudes 7.8 inches at 37 miles per hour. There are many intriguing elements, including the sidewalls of the specially designed Bridgestone tires, which lay flush with the 20-inch magnesium wheels and the carbon fiber body when viewed from above. This helps to drastically reduce the car's 0.17 slick drag coefficient. Traditional but artfully designed side mirrors grace the doors. Their little drag penalty was ultimately found to be more effective than the power draw that a lower profile camera-based solution would have needed. The automated door handle of the EQXX can be pulled to reveal the brazenly utilitarian and unexpectedly comfy interior of the display car. The amount of front end visible through the glass is limited, despite the spaciousness of the cabin as viewed from the driver's position. It's simple to become comfortable in what is practically a valuable one-off thanks to the familiar Mercedes controls and steering wheel. However, there are a few 3D printed parts that we should handle carefully. Disregard the sparse use of ambient lighting and bright work and the green touches, such as bamboo fiber shag carpet floor mats, seat inserts made from mushrooms, and trim panels made from cacti, which are both visually appealing and suggestive of things to come. When the EQXX is driven, it's lightweight for an EV. Stated curb weight of 3,900 pounds becomes evident right away. The 241 horsepower radial flux engine positioned at the rear provides enough of propulsion, and even at pedestrian speeds, the light and almost delicate steering feels remarkably intuitive. Tire noise from the car's moderate level of sound deadening is the main source of distraction, as there is minimal motor hum or air turbulence to disturb the ambience. Even though the EQXX isn't exactly designed for fast driving, its stated 7.0 second 60 MPV time and electronically controlled 87 MPV top speed, the general vibe is one of quickness and solid integration. The outstanding range of the car is not just attributed to its svelte form and relatively light weight, but also to its claimed 95% powertrain efficiency, which is an increase from Benz's EQS production sedan's 90% or so. The EQSX isn't as rapid to charge as its 900-volt architecture would have you believe, but it uses so few electrons that a few minutes on a socket gives it a noticeable increase in range. Similarly, significant mileage increases are obtained from the few kilowatts generated by the 117 solar cells on its roof, which are solely used to power the accessories. With very little aerodynamic and mechanical drag, the EQXX coasts on flat terrain with ease and without losing velocity. 
Mercedes engineers faced the unique problem of getting the motor of the EQXX to generate enough heat to reach its ideal working temperature, but were able to do so because to the efficiency of the active air conditioning system for the battery and electronics. Our ride around Amendingen's facilities was short, but we quickly discovered how much fun it is to use regenerative braking to control the EQXX momentum. Gaining momentum allows it to easily navigate turns, with the weight of the floor-mounted battery supporting its movements. The car may be instantly slowed down for tight curves and intersections by switching the steering wheel paddles through the four phases of region, from none to complete one-pedal operation. This is one of the reasons standard cast iron or even carbon ceramic brake discs are not as suitable for the EQXX as ultra-lightweight aluminum rotors. We rarely use the left pedal at all once we adjust it. Ultimately, our total energy usage, while maintaining air conditioning comfort, amounted to 262 mpg in a gas-powered vehicle. Mercedes being the engineering powerhouse that it is, during our drive, we were given a plethora of telemetry, indicating areas in which we could have been even more efficient. However, a large portion of that information was also accessible in real time via the EQXX pillar-to-pillar 47.5-inch touchscreen, which is powered by a video game engine and displays 8K resolution. It covers topics like energy recovery and air movement over the car's body. This display has a plethora of information and eye-catching images, but it may also be rather distracting due to its deep well of information and dynamic navigation data. It is also easily adjustable for clear reading at a glance. Even the parts of the LEDs that aren't in use are actively dimmed because it is power efficient. Even though we didn't get to know its personal assistant functioning artificial intelligence, the system gives us a sneak peek into Mercedes's next UI. However, the EQXX is much more than just a platform for the next generation of widescreen TVs. The powertrain of the car, which surprisingly was developed in a modified rear-drive version of the new EQB SUV, will go into production by 2024, according to Mercedes. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share, and also comment down below. Thank you. I'll be with you eternally. I'm an addict for your love. It keeps me high. Keeps me high.